So it is December 2010, which means, as you can tell from the title, it's time for yearly favorites, um, which is crazy to me. I can't believe the year is over, almost 2011, whatever. Um, so this is my favorites video. It's my favorite products, the best products, the most used products of the year. Originally, I had wanted to do 12, thinking that would be a nice, cool number for, you know, one for each month. I couldn't do it. I could not narrow it down. So I've <laughs> put everything into categories. Everything is makeup. Um, and what I will do is I will put annotations in between each category. So if you can want to skip one or whatever, you can do that because I'm kind of rambly. And I also want to be able to swatch every product because I'm always really disappointed when people don't swatch the products. So, you know, um, it might take a little more time than, <laughs> than you want to put in. So you can just skip ahead to a part that you're interested in. Um, so let's just get started. The first um, category is like foundation and concealer and that kind of stuff. Okay, so the first foundation was totally bought on a whim. Um, I had sworn by my Bare Mineral Foundation, I've said this before, but I was wearing mineral foundation probably for about four years. So there was like no liquid at all. Like I was not into liquid makeup. Once I used the mineral makeup, I was like, forget this, I'm over it. Um, and one day I was shopping at the drugstore in the makeup section and um, Wet n Wild, which is, you know, generally among the cheapest cosmetics anyway, was like, everything was like 50% off. And I was like, I have to look. Um, and so I bought a foundation just because I, it was $2. And I was like, you know, if it really is bad, like, then I won't use it. But it's the Wet n Wild Ultimate Match Foundation. And I've talked about this before. It's been in, I'm, think, I'm pretty sure it's been in favorites videos. I've definitely used it a ton like when I bought it I used it every single day and I have not used my mineral makeup since it's back in the drawer I still love it but I'm semi converted to liquid again um, the coverage is medium on the lighter side is medium but you can layer it the consistency is thin on the watery side but like not too too runny um, it works best blended with a brush. It's just really good. The only complaint is they didn't have a lot of colors, um, select, you know, a lot of selection. Um, and the packaging is kind of cheap, like the label is already worn off and it's not that old. But this is a really great foundation. Like if you're just starting out in makeup, don't want to invest a lot in a foundation, I recommend this because I think even full price it's like $5. This is awesome. I used it for months and months and months. And yeah, awesome. The next foundation... Um, is one I had been wanting to try for a long time. There's been a lot of hype about it on YouTube, and there was also a lot of people saying it sucked on YouTube, um, and it's the Revlon Photo Ready. This was, I believe, in my November favorites. I've done a review on it. It's, you know, I've talked about it a lot. Um, I love it. It's awesome. It's, it's pretty full coverage. Some people say it's not for me. It is pretty full coverage. And unlike the Wet n Wild one, I prefer it actually blended with my fingers. I did it for a long time, use a brush, but I think the coverage is actually nicer with a um, with my fingers because the formula is a little bit thicker and the warmth of my fingers and the warmth of my skin kind of helps to just make it look a little bit smoother. Today I am wearing the Wet n Wild one just in case, only because since I bought this, I haven't used anything else. I've been totally neglecting this and this is really awesome. I've never used such a full coverage uh, foundation and I love it. I'm like almost completely converted. I, I really love this foundation. Um, this is in the color, I don't know. I can't tell you. Yeah, I don't know, I'm sorry, but um, I guess it was on the app. Oh, medium beige, Durr, right there. Um, yeah, so this is awesome. Next two things are concealers. And the one I use most for the year, like if I had to really pick a favorite, I would say the Revlon Color Stay. Um, I use the color light to medium, which is pretty light, like a lot lighter than me, but, um, it's just a really good, good concealer. It lasts a really long time. You actually don't even need to set it with powder because it's kind of dry. Um, it's not, the, it's not super creamy. It's not super blendable, but it is really long lasting and it covers really well. Um, I just really like it. I just am really happy with that. And what I've been using lately, which I, I'm in love with, and I think this has been my favorite video, um, is my Sally Hansen makeup and probably like mirror crazy, um, makeup and concealer duo. I think the thinner side is supposed to be the concealer and thicker one supposed to be foundation, but I use the thicker one for my concealer because it's creamier and it just looks like that. And I'm wearing it today. I've been wearing it every day since I bought it. There's already a dent in it. I love it. And I bought this at the dollar store. So, awesome. 
Okay, so that's it for the foundations. Okay, so continuing with the face products, the next section is going to be bronzers, blushes, and highlighters. And there's several, so I'm just going to get into it. Number one, probably without a doubt, and this has been true for a very long time, is Bare Minerals Warmth. Um, this is just a small size. Um, it's a, it's not matte in the sense that it's totally flat. It's, it does have kind of a sheen like all Bare Minerals makeup does, but, um, it is absolutely no shimmer. And what, it, it's funny, because what, what it looks like on my hands, hopefully you can see that. What it looks like on my hand is not what it really looks like on my face, but whatever, this stuff is awesome. Um... I highly recommend it a tiny bit. Like, this little bit will last me for years, I'm sure. It's it's just awesome. I use it to contour most every day. I use it for all my bronzing requirements. Number two, and I've raved about this, is my True Color Bronzer from Avon. There's a huge dent in this. You can see how much I've used it. Sorry about my phone. Um, this is just a perfect color. It's a little bit different tone than the um, Warmth, which I will put them next to each other so you can see them. But it's just a perfect... It's just perfect, and it's totally matte, and it's just, it's really matte. You can see the difference in, in uh, finish between the products. It's just, it's, but it's really creamy. This is just a really good bronzer. This is a really good bronzer. I highly recommend that. It's in the color Beachy. I'm sorry, I'm just going to try to move as quickly as possible because I do have several products. Um, next one is a blush. This is, I forget what it's called, maybe Peach from um, CoverGirl. I've talked about this. This is probably my most warm blush ever. And it's this is probably my um, fourth time buying this, which says a lot because I hardly ever repurchase makeup. Um, it just looks like this. It's like three, um, obviously this one's, no, this one obviously is empty, but it's just like, it comes with a dark peach, a mid-tone peach, and a light peach. Um, this is a nice highlight color. The dark one was a good blush color, but it broke, as you can see. And the middle one is probably the best, truest peach I've ever, ever had. I just, it's like when you think of peach blush, that's the color. It's just beautiful. It is shimmery, but I don't care. It's just, it's so gorgeous. And like I said, probably my most warm blush ever. Um, probably my most warm blush of the year. And one of my absolute favorites, it's from Iman. This is the Iman uh, Universal Color Kit. And I got this actually last Christmas. I was given this for Christmas. And um, I didn't use it for a long time because I just, I just had so much other makeup that I just, you know. And these colors looked so unappealing to me when I first got it. But this blush right here that looks like super duper orange, and it is super duper orange, I've worn that so much this year I can't even tell you and I am in love with it it is like really orange like actually orange I'm going to show you like legit orange but it is beautiful it works so nicely on my skin tone I just love this blush and this kind of started my obsession with orange toned blushes awesome I love it <sighs> definitely this is like probably my favorite blush of the year for sure um is that all I took out for blush the only other thing, no, nope, 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 I have a couple other things. A um, couple weeks ago, I did a, um, a review of some Eco Bella products that I got, and I ordered a blush from them, and um, ordered it, meaning I, whatever, they sent me this blush, okay, I didn't pay for it, so have a conniption, it's fine, but it's amazing, it's one of the coolest blushes I've ever used, because it actually um, changes color, it's really cool, like, I'm going to put this on my finger to show it to you. It looks like that. And I'm going to put it on my hand. And you will see when I show it to you in a few minutes, it will change color a little bit. It's not that it becomes a tool. It's not like mood. It's not like mood blush. But it's that it when when your body warms it up because it's all natural and made with like flower pigments and stuff like that, um, it kind of just adjusts to your body's temperature. And so it, it will be slightly different on everyone. This is probably the most pigmented blush I've ever used. I don't know if you can see that it's actually changed color already a little bit. And you can see on my finger, um, it's darkened. Um, this is for sure the most pigmented blush I've ever used. I just put that swatch on my hands. I could rub this on my lips, which I've done. It's really pretty on your lips, actually. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't just put that all over my face because I can't see. 
what I'm doing. Um, and there's still a ton left. It's so pigmented. It's awesome, and it's really, really, really creamy, and like I said, cruelty-free, all-natural. This is awesome, and it's right up my alley with coral, orange, reds. I love all those colors. That's it for blush. Um, highlighting, this might be cheating because um, I just got this not too long ago, but for what I used for most of the year for highlighting was eyeshadows. I've used all kinds of shimmery gold, shimmery white, shimmery pink, shimmery champagne, um, colored eyeshadows that are like nice and creamy and blendable that's what I've been using to highlight my cheekbones um I recently just got the pink leopard bronzer like a little tiny size in a Too Faced kit that I bought from Sephora <sighs> I don't ever want to be without it I've worn it every single solitary day since I got it um I'm wearing it today but it's probably worn off because I've been wearing my makeup since like eight okay this is certainly not a bronzer um it's way too pale of a color even if you're very pale um, but what it is is the most beautiful pinky gold sheen. It's not glittery, but it's got so much life and light to it. It's gorgeous. I don't care if I just bought it. I know I, how much I love it. Um, if I had bought it earlier in the year, I would have used it all year long. It's awesome. Can't recommend it enough. The hype is true. Keeping with the cheating theme, um, I'm going to start with an eyeshadow that I did also just buy. It's also from Too Faced freaking love this eyeshadow it came with two um but this is the one i've used the most and it's called magenta moon yeah i knew you know i love my purple eyeshadows wow it has a huge crack in it holy crap i didn't even know that can you see that crack no i want to cry this eyeshadow is gorgeous it's gorgeous it's creamy it blends so beautifully it is so pretty to just look at i'm in love with this eyeshadow and I'm so happy I bought it. Oh. Hopefully you can get an idea. Sometimes it looks brown. Sometimes it just looks straight up purple. I'm just going to put it right here next to my blushes. Oh, look at that. It's got a lot of life to it. Um, let me put a little more on to see if you can get a better idea of the finish because it's not really super glittery it's just very metallic which I love in eyeshadow okay so that's gorgeous Too Faced and Magenta Moon awesome um the next eyeshadow I'm going to talk about are two eyeshadows from Avon sorry I'm so close to you but um all my makeup is behind the camera um these are the smooth mineral shadows this is in the color Cocoa Glow and this is in the color uh, rose quartz. Um, mineral eyeshadows can tend to be kind of expensive if you buy like, you know, the higher end brands. But for like a low end brand, these shadows are amazing. But Avon products are amazing. I have more to show you. Um, but these are really great. They're beautiful. This, ugh, I love them. Um, this is the first one, rose quartz. It's like a soft pink. I will swatch that for you in a second. It's really messy though. That's the one drawback. Like the, the top is so retarded. I'm trying to get it out of that but I will swatch it regardless. It's so pretty. It's very, very, very shimmery. Um, it is quite shimmery, but it's just a beautiful color. Hopefully you can see this on my wrist right there. And I'm just going to blend it out so you can see what it looks like as a highlight. It actually makes a really nice cheekbone highlight. It just blends out really well. Um, the next color, Cocoa Glow, is this really, really, really soft, um, soft, warm brown color. Which is great as like a transition color if you do like a lot of dark like blacks and stuff on the eyelid, which I love to do, smoky eyes like that. Um, this is like a really good color to kind of blend it out with because it's just, just, I don't know, it's soft and it just is nice. Show you it. Hopefully, hopefully you can see this because whenever I try to show it on camera, it's right here. It never picks it up, but I'm using a little bit of a better camera today, so hopefully. It's right there on the bottom. That soft brown. It's also quite shimmery, but gorgeous. Okay, um, the next set of eyeshadows is a quad. Hands down, hands down, favorite of the year. Like, probably my favorite ever. Like, I'm obsessed with this. This is um, Purple Haze Quad, True Color from Avon. Oh, amazing. Like, most used, most loved, most likely to rebuy. And it's missing a shadow. Um, right here was like a very, very, very light purple, almost white color, which I never, ever use, so it doesn't even matter. Oh, 
my gosh, I love these colors so much. First is this, um, this lightest color here that I have left. It looks like that. Uh, I'll show you it somewhere. Maybe on my arm now. Okay. This is gorgeous. Um, it has a nice metallic sheen to it. No sparkle, though. It's just gorgeous. None of these colors have sparkle. The next one is the prettiest purple I've ever used. Um, as you can see how, like, seriously I've hit pan on it. It's just really, really nice and dark. Um, nice and, like, soft, and it's just, oh, it's like a grape purple. It's just, like, the right color. I'm hoping I'm getting this in the frame, because I will cry if you can't see it. And then the last color, which is gorgeous, and I love it so much, um, is this amazing charcoal right here, which I've used in tutorials and is just sickly gorgeous. I hope I was pointing to the right one. It's that one. Um, ugh, just gorgeous. It's not even charcoal. It's like gunmetal. And this is probably the most pigmented of the shades. And it's like kind of blue-toned, so it goes beautifully with the purples. Hopefully I'm showing you that correctly. There they are. Hopefully you can see them all. Um, and there they are on my fingers. Awesome. The only other thing as far as eyeshadow goes, sorry, I should have, I guess, taken this stuff down before I started showing it, um, is this Revlon Skin Lights Color Lighting. I've talked about this as well. As a base, this is phenomenal. They do not make this anymore. Um, oh, it's such a gorgeous creamy base. For eyeshadows it was marketed as like cream eyeshadow cream blush highlight lip color blah 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 i wouldn't use it for any other reason but it's an amazing base for your eyeshadow because it's just it's super creamy that's the swatch of it right there just kind of thrown on um it blends out like a dream and it just holds your eyeshadow on all day blend that out so you can kind of see it does leave a pretty sheen on your lid you could use it by itself i suppose but i just love it as a base, and every color pops on top of it. Okay, so mascara and eyeliner is my quickest, um, quickest category, so be excited. Um, also with eyeliner, top eyeliner of, like, coal pencil of the year is the Mally Evercolor Starlight Waterproof Liner in uh, Sailor, which is navy blue. I've used and abused this eyeliner and I love it right here, obviously, the navy. Um, it's super, super dark. Uh, it's also really, really creamy. It also really stays if you don't blend it out. Awesome. I love this. I use it on my waterline all the time. I'm wearing it today. Fantastic. Number two, and if you ever have seen my videos, I'm sure you probably know, but um, the Alme Liquid Liner in black, my holy grail product. It's probably it's my, mo my most used liquid liner ever, and I've tried a bunch of different ones. A lot of people don't like it. I am obsessed with it. The applicator looks like this. Um, it's a hard applicator, which I think is better. I've heard so many people say the opposite, that they feel like they don't have any control over it because it's so hard. But for me, I have much more control. I guess it's just a preference thing. It's totally black. It lasts. I love it. And that's it. Awesome. Mascaras. Okay. I have a bunch of mascaras right now, which isn't like me. Normally, I do stick to one mascara at a time. I have never loved a mascara like I loved and still love Clinique Lash Doubling Mascara, which I don't even have one to show you. I just have a little travel size that really needs to be thrown away because um, it's kind of old. But um, it's so this is probably, this is what the wand looks like. I'm sure you've probably seen it. Um, I've never used up a mascara before, but um, this is the first, not this one, but the full size one. It's the first mascara I've ever used up. And when I used it, I swore I would never, ever, ever go back to another mascara again. Um, it's awesome. It's so lengthening. It's so soft. It doesn't, like, give you that, like, flaky stuff that you can, like, rub off your lashes. It was the mascara that I swore I would never use another mascara again. And I didn't for a very, very, very long time until I was swept away by the hype and just had to buy the falsies from Maybelline. Uh, I'm sure you've also seen this. It's got this kind of real flexible wand, and it's like a scoop. I love this stuff. It's completely different. The formula's a lot thinner. You get a lot more product on your wand. So many camera dying issues. Um, but yeah, so the falsies, uh, Clinique Flash Doubling, awesome mascaras. Try them both. Um, 
Okay, that's it for that. Next section, lipstick and lip gloss. This is probably the biggest section. I wonder why. I look different in every other scene. It's because my camera is being, well, it's being an asshole. And it's going to go out the window in about two seconds. So, quickly. NYC Kiss Gloss um, is my first lip gloss. This stuff is awesome, and I think it cost me, like, a dollar or so from the drugstore. This is in the color Pink Lemonade, which it looks and smells like. It is really not very sticky, and it's just gorgeous. I'm just going to do a nice, um, right here, obviously, the only one. Gorgeous. Love this lip gloss. Baby pink. Phenomenal. Next one, this is from Truco, which, um, Truco lipstick right here is like vinyl. It's awesome. It smells like candy. Um, the color Skinny Dip, it's just gorgeous. I love it. Like my lip color, but richer. The last lip gloss is from Avon. <laughs> I seem to have lost it. Um, it's in the color Mirage. I did lose it and I can't find it because I have to work while my camera's working with me. Um, it's just like a sand color. I've shown it a trillion times in my videos. Um, it's just like a sand color with a gold shimmer. Perfect neutral. Really shiny. Love it from Avon. Not sticky. Beautiful. My four lipsticks. Um, okay, I'm going to start with the newest one I bought. This is Airy Fairy from Rimmel, which has been very talked about on YouTube. This camera, I'm telling you. Again, do believe the hype. It is creamy, it's rich, it's the perfect everyday color. Um, if you like pink lipstick, this is for you. It's gorgeous. I love it. Airy Fairy. <sighs> Hello, 2010. Um, next one is from NYC. Um, super, super cheap. It's in the color Cafe. I love this color. I wear it all the time. It's just a light, light coffee color. It's right here. Right? Yeah, right there gorgeous color. Um, next is Just Enough Buff from um, Revlon. I've talked about this in videos as well. Peach colored, nice nude, um, gorgeous, creamy. If you're into nude lipsticks, this is a great option. It's right here. I love it. Okay, last but not least, my probably most used lip color of 2000. Postmodern Pink from um, L'Oreal. Postmodern Pink. Gorgeous. Everyday, super glossy, um, nice, lovely pink color, moisturizing, gorgeous. Like I said, most worn of 2010 for sure. Um, I love this. This is like my go-to if I don't know what else to wear. I love it so much. Um, you can see all my lip colors are kind of in the same family. But yeah, that's it. That's my extremely long and broken up favorite to 2010. Hope everyone had a great year. Um, cheers to an even better 2011. Peace out.